Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making pumpkin pancakes. And it's super easy, you know I'm all about those easy, quick recipes. And today's only has seven ingredients. I'm actually using the Forks Over Knives meal planner, and that's where I got this recipe from. So Forks Over Knives has an online service that lets you meal meal plan. It has hundreds of recipes, makes it so easy, and I've been using it for about a year now and love it. They come out with new recipes every week. They're always really good. Everyone always really enjoys them in our house. And like making a grocery list is super simple. Planning out what you're gonna eat during the week is super simple. So if you are just starting a whole food plant-based lifestyle or you're like bored of recipes, check out the meal planner. I have a link down below. I love it and use it every week. So it's highly recommended in my book. But the pumpkin pancakes are from that. So I'm just gonna go over the ingredients. It's really simple. You guys are gonna love this recipe and it's perfect for fall coming up. Um, so you need one tablespoon of ground flax seed, one and one fourth cups of oat flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, three fourths cups of unflavored plant milk, um, half a cup of pumpkin puree, and make sure you get um, not the pumpkin pie puree, make sure it's actually just pumpkin. And one and a half teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, and that is it. It is super simple. We're gonna mix it all together. This serves, um, makes enough for two people. So if you want um, to make it for more people, you can double this recipe. If you wanna make it, I love making this actually like for the week or for snacks or something to grab. It doesn't just have to be like sitting down eating breakfast. If you've traveled a lot, you're on your way to work, you can even eat one like you know, pull it out of the fridge and toast it or something and go with it. So I love just like having this on hand. It's really simple and easy. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna get started. So we're gonna combine our oat flour, which I just pulsed oats in our high speed blender to make oat flour. If you've watched any of our prior videos, you know that it's super simple and quick and very affordable to do it that way. Our baking powder. And our pumpkin pie spice. And we're just gonna whisk that up. That pretty much was all, almost all of our dry ingredients. We're gonna save the flax seed to go in at the end, but all whole food plant-based, I love it. So that's all mixed up. Now we're gonna add our plant milk. That's unsweetened, that's really important. a nice little stir you're gonna start seeing a batter form we're gonna add our pumpkin pie puree great way of getting pumpkin into your diet I am about all about pumpkin everything flax seed and our apple cider vinegar flaxseed and our apple cider vinegar and go ahead and whisk, whisk that all up till everything's nice and combined we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes I'm gonna move you guys over to our um, our oven for our gas uh, stove top and we are going to make our pancakes but this is so simple and easy the batter comes together really simple you can get your kids to help you with this. I bet your kids would love this. And then you can do so many different things for the topping. So you could do fresh fruit on top. You could do cinnamon. You can add in so many different variations for like how you want to serve this. You can have it plain. Um, you can make some kind of pumpkin um, topping with it. So there's just like an endless amount of ways that this never gets boring. And I just love how quick and easy this is. Because on Sunday morning, I don't feel like being in the kitchen forever. I want to like go out and do lots of things. Hopefully really soon start going out and doing a lot of fall activities. Uh, we're very busy in our household. We're always like up and moving and, and ready to go. So something quick and simple like this that only takes minutes to make and to whip up is kind of the breakfast I'm looking for over the weekend. So go ahead and let that sit for five minutes. I'll see you guys over on our stove. 
Each um, pancake is going to be one third cup, so get a one third cup measuring cup out so you can kind of make sure each one's even. But you can make these like as big as or small that you want. Um, again, this is for two people for a serving, but I hope you guys enjoy it. This is like such a treat for the weekend, and I love everything pumpkin. I'm just letting my skillet get hot. You just want to, you know, raise the temperature high, let it wait for a minute or two, and then put it on low before we start making our pancakes. But you're just gonna make these like any kind of pancakes you would normally have. It's exactly the same way. So each pancake should take around two to three minutes till it's brown enough where you can flip it, and just like a traditional pancake. Pancakes are finished, they turned out so yummy. And I just went ahead and put some toppings. So I made some date syrup. So on my high speed blender, I took four to five um, pitted dates, put a little bit of hot water just to get my blender going, and I added in two tablespoons of that pumpkin puree. Super simple, you could do whatever you want for a topping. And then I cut up an organic apple with the skins on and sauteed it on that same pan adding a sprinkle of pumpkin pie spice and a little bit of extra cinnamon until it's nice and tender and then I decorated. So yummy. So we're gonna go enjoy this for brunch today. I'm not gonna film it, um, us trying it because it's just, I know it's good, we've made it before. Um, and it's so beautiful, I want my husband to see the final product. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment, subscribe, make sure you check out for Wednesday's video, you know, you're checking back in, and um, check out that Fork Server Knives Meal Planner website, I'll have that linked below for you guys as well. I hope you guys are having a great week. I'll see you very soon. Bye.